Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. If you have not subscribed, do subscribe and please press the bell icon. Yes guys, do press the bell icon. You will get a notification for every new video we post. Okay Janya, so now let's get started. Yes Dhrish. Janya, where are we heading? Dhrish, we are going to a mini hill station called Javhar. It is situated in the Palgal district of Maharashtra. Dreams with nature's abundance. You know, it was founded by Raja Jayaba Mukne in 1343. Oh! Janya, can you tell me more about it? Yeah, sure. You know, when Jawar was under British rule, okay. it was a part of Bombay Presidents. Oh. Many historians claim that it was due to low revenue generation and messy organization of the city that both the Rajas and Britishers didn't pay attention to it. Okay. You know, it was only during the timeline of Raja Patang Shah IV and subsequent rulers after him that Jawar saw some amount of success in terms of infrastructure and economy. Oh! Before we proceed further, let's fill up the tank. Yes, Dresh. The plan is to visit Johar, do some sightseeing and come back by evening. Okay. It is around 121 kilometers from Mumbai, which should approximately take us 3 hours. You know, Dresh, there is a lot of off-roading today. I'm sure you will enjoy and we'll see how our XUV700 performs on such roads. Oh, wow! What places we are going to visit today? So, Dresh, we are going to first visit Hanuman Point, then we'll proceed to Shirpamal, okay. then Khadkar Dam, followed by Jaisagar Dam, and finally, Dabosa Waterfalls. Okay. See, Janya, how beautiful the roads are. Yes, Dresh. That is because Johar is still an unexploited hill place. Okay. Not many people know about this place and therefore greenery is maintained. Oh, wow. Janya, when is the best time to visit Johar? Dresh. The best time to visit Johar is in monsoon and we are lucky that it is still raining in October. I am sure we will see plenty of waterfalls. Amazing! Janya, till we reach Johar, can you tell me something about the climate here? Sure, Dresh. Johar has a tropical monsoon climate hmm? with little or no rainfall from November to May and extremely heavy rainfall from June to September with moderate rainfall in October. Oh, amazing! Okay, so Drish, now we are about to reach Hanuman Point. Janya, why is it known as Hanuman Point? Because an ancient Hanuman Mandir of great religious importance gives it its name Hanuman Point. Oh, wow! There is an astonishing view of Jai Vilas Palace from here. Okay. The Maruti or Hanuman Mandir is known as Katya Maruti Mandir. Oh! A beautiful green 500 feet deep valley known as Dev Kobacha Kada unfailingly takes our attention. Oh! Amazing! A great place to see sunrise point surrounded by a valley and high hills. Interesting! You know Drish, the temple is surrounded by valleys on three sides. Oh wow! During the daytime, you can see the historical fort of Shahapura Maholi from this point. Okay. Well, during night time, it is possible to see lights of train in Kasara Ghat from this point. Okay.
Come Dirish, let's take pictures at the selfie point. Yay! I was barely waiting for it. Yay! Come Dirish, let's take the blessings at Anuman Mandir. Okay. Janya, where are we going now? We are going to Shirpa Mal. Let me tell you more about this place. Okay. You know Dirish, Shirpa Mal is a tourist destination on Jawahar Nasik Road in Dharampur near Jawahar City. Oh. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj marched to Surat with the Maratha army. They set up a camp near the princely state of Jawahar and met the Pori ruler Vikram Shah Mukme of Jawahar. Oh, excellent! You know Drish, they together invaded Surat. Shirpamal was a meeting place of Shivaji and Vikram Shah and has become a historical man monument since then. Oh. And you know, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj visited Shirpamal at Jawahar on 31st December 1664. Okay. On 1st May 1995, Rajaram Mukne, President of Jawahar Municipal Council, erected a memorial of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj at this place to commemorate this historical monument. <laughs> Janya, till then, let's take a walk and enjoy the view. Yes, Dirish. Janya, I'm very thirsty. Now let's take a cold drink. Yes, Drish, I am thirsty too. So where next, Janya? So Drish, now the adventure begins. <laughs> now we are heading to Khadkhar Dam. Okay. Janya, as always, can you brief me for Khadkhar Dam? Yes, yeah, sure Drish. You know Drish, Khadkhar Dam is one of the most recommended visit to admire the beauty around it. Oh! The way to the dam is very narrow with some beautiful views of the surroundings and small villages. Oh, interesting. You know, Drish, the whole route is an off-roading track. The roads are too narrow. Yes, but one has to be very cautious while driving on this very narrow off-roading track road. Absolutely, Drish. These off-roading tracks, small villages and beautiful views will make your visit even more adventurous. Oh yes! And Drish, you can hear the roaring sound of falling water from a distance 
to get admire the majestic reservoir on reaching the dam. Oh yeah, it's very beautiful. Dresh, fasten your seat belts. Let's enjoy this adventurous route. Hurra! Dresh, we have almost reached the Khad Khad Dam. Let's park the car and enjoy the view. Yeah! Dresh, Khad Khad Dam is one of the major dams near Jawhar city. Oh, the excess water of dam flows through the huge rocks. Oh wow, which can be seen in a form of waterfall. Okay. Okay, Dresh, let's move ahead towards Jaisagar Dam. Okay. See, Dresh, we are passing through such a beautiful village. Yes, and the roads are so narrow. Yes, Dresh, can you see those authentic village houses and huts? Yes. See Janya, the roads are so fine. Dad must be enjoying the ride. Yes, Dresh. Okay, Drish, now we are almost nearing the Jaisagar Dam. Okay. Let me tell you more about it. Okay. Did you know, Drish, Jaisagar Dam is surely one of the places in Jawhar where one can relax and spend peaceful time surrounded by water and beautiful environment. Oh, wow! Amazing! It provides a beautiful view of the Sayadri mountain ranges. Okay, it was built in 1956 by the royal family. Oh, the entire cost of building this dam was borne by the royal family. Oh, even after their royal facilities were discontinued by the government. Oh, sad.
Okay, Janya. So now let's spend some time on that lawn you can see there. Yes, Dresh. Wow, such a beautiful and peaceful place this is. Yes, Janya. We can spend some quality time here. Okay, Dresh. Now let's visit the last item on our itinerary. Okay. You know, Dresh, this waterfall is located over the Lendi River and cascades down from a height of 300 feet. Oh, the Bosa Waterfalls is a beautiful waterfall. It is one of the highest waterfalls in Maharashtra. Oh, the crater shape. into which the water cascades and the lake at its bottom is a rare spectacle oh wow amazing wow janya look at the beauty of this waterfall yes dirish this is so peaceful and beautiful hmm dirish come let's click some pictures here finally Okay, Drish. Enough of sightseeing. Let's have some food and head towards home. Okay. Papa, let's take a break at Shri Dutt Snacks. I want to have thali peet, and I want to have sandwich. This was a day well spent. It was an adventurous ride towards Jawhar. That's it for now. I must recommend you to visit Jawhar. Bye guys. See you in our next vlog. Bye.